Hello and welcome to another cosmic guide of these cosmic vibes that are here to allow us to shift into this Aquarian age, the Aquarian vibe, this end of a cycle and into a whole new consciousness really that is not limited in the fifth dimension but into all. And like the universe and the cosmos, it doesn't have a limitation. It is infinite. One part of the universe that we understand and its smallest part is a torus, like a donut, is ever evolving. It's like a fractal, like you are a fractal in your essence, in your source part. And so when we can tune into that, then we truly evolve, then we truly shift. So it's not the limitation, I need to live in 5D, I need to live in New Earth. Yes, you do. But this is just, in a way, the external environment. It's your new home. But the 5D environment, the New Earth, allows you to access it all and today I'm very guided to talk with you about drama the drama keeps you in limitations because you're running on that triangle the hero I need to rescue I'm so cool I have all the solutions I know exactly how it works the victim Poor me, I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere. I'm incapable. I am incapis, well, I can't say the word right now, so obviously I'm not meant to say it. I can't do anything. And the church, you did it all wrong. So now you are suffering from whatever you have done. So this drama triangle, it is part of the whole game of that separation. Because as long as we stay in that drama, we're not going anywhere. We're just taking those positions. And we take all of them. So if you're a hero, you're also a victim. And you're also a judge. Keeps you in duality, keeps you in separation. All the things, all the paradigms, all the programs, of the old world. And so how do you break out? Now, one of the first things is actually mindfulness. And I'm not a mindfulness teacher or practitioner, but yes, mindfulness is the first step out. And of course, mindfulness in origin comes from Buddhism, Gautama. And what was his vision of life to stop the suffering? So, as in mindfulness, as you're using this technique of being conscious and aware of what you feel and what you think, but being aware this is not me. I'm feeling that, I'm thinking that, but it's not who I am. So, in a way, you are detaching from the suffering. And this is a beautiful way in. If that's enough for you, great. However, there is so much more. There is so much more to evolve from the drama. So it's great if you know, yeah, you're feeling like a hero, you're feeling all like that, you are aware of your attachments, the emotional connectors and traps. But now comes the next step, and that is coming into presence. Presence, and then of course, presentness. We all know Eckhart Tolle, the power of now. We all have heard this, but it is that being in the now. And this is also mindfulness, of course. But of course, the now does include the past and the future. The now is multidimensional. The now includes all the timelines. So the presence has two aspects. One part of the presence 
is just being here, here in the now, and being aware that all is one. The second part of presence is being fully connected to your I am presence. Now, if we're looking at the dimensions of consciousness, David Hawkins was, of course, the man and many others. We're looking now at 12th dimension, not fifth. So when you are in presence, you are aware of all the different dimensions of your consciousness. The consciousness as this physical being, the consciousness in your heart that connects everything and unlocks everything, but it's also a bridge. The consciousness of your soul, the, the karmic side that we are getting rid of and the Akashic, but also the halls of the Amenti and the higher soul and the source fractal, that piece of the source that we are. So the presence is being it all and being in that state of presence and that's presentness. The English language has provided us with some very extraordinary ways to express and the ness words are surely one of them, the power to or the state of. So when you're out of drama and you're in presentness, you're not only aware of what is happening here and now, but you're actually in the state of being in all dimensions, in all times. Is that easy all the time? No. Does it take practice? Yes. But once you have that connection, it becomes very difficult for you to stay in the drama. It's almost impossible. It doesn't mean in the present moment you don't feel anything. It doesn't mean in the present moment you don't have a million thoughts. But you instantly know this is not who I am. This is just my physical body, my humanity having an experience. And you're not staying there. So in the past, when anything happened and I got involved in something, it could last a couple of days. Or I couldn't forget it at all and I created another block. When this happens now, I go through it consciously and I connect to that presentness and it's done. The learning is actually deeper. And of course, the expression is real. This is authentic. This is being who we truly are. Out of harm, and out of the fear that somebody else has something that I don't have and I need to get it. Resentment and all these other things. So in order now to access those next octaves and higher dimensions of this presentness. So this is an evolving thing. So you connect once, self-realization, there's many words for that. There is ways in yoga you can get that. There is ways in Advaita that, or being here. And yet we are still evolving. There is new octaves, new, new horizons, new zeniths of this presentness that keeps us out of the drama. Now, when you are no longer in drama, you are no longer enslaved and trapped or entangled. So it's a pretty good deal. So are you ready to, to have that transposing magic of the mass mystic flute and flute magic, this time with the chakana? I hope you can see that here. So let us see how that can be translated and transposed, that we can access this presentness, this awareness 
of being detached but yet being present and aware and in that constantly evolving into higher octaves and new senates of that presentness the state of being present So where does it take you? Are you ready to walk over that bridge? Are you ready for this presentness that brings you infinite choice? See you there in these amazing harmonic states of being that we have come to live, to be these leading lights in a new earth, from my heart to yours.